Welcome to the Marmalade Hub. The Hub is a new tool for managing Marmalade projects. The Hub combines all the different products and tools that make up the Marmalade SDK into a single, easy-to-use interface. At the bottom right, there's a window for managing licenses. And on the left here are a set of advanced tools and configuration options. This video will cover the dependency checker. The dependency checker is a way to make sure that everything required to develop with Marmalade for your chosen platforms has been set up correctly. To use Marmalade C++, an IDE is required. On this Windows PC, Visual Studio Express 2010 is installed, and Visual Studio Express 2012 Windows Phone has been selected to enable C++ development for Windows Phone 8. Further down, there are iOS settings for signing certificates and Android settings. To develop for Android, the Java JDK is required. If you don't have it already, it can be downloaded from the Oracle site. Then select the path for the JDK by using the Browse button. At the top, there's a Target button. Select this option to choose which platforms are available all throughout the Hub. New platforms can be added by selecting them on the right and using the arrow button to move them to the available list on the left. Click the Home button to return to the front page of the Hub at any time. To build a Marmalade C++ project, select C++. The splash screen provides quick access to the starter tutorial, examples and documentation. The next screen is the Marmalade project view. On the left is a list of all of the projects. At the bottom are options for creating new projects and importing projects from previous versions of Marmalade. Select Tutorial to view the C++ game that's available with Marmalade 7. The tutorial is split up into different stages. Select a stage to view the project options. To run the stage directly in the desktop simulator, select the Launch in Simulator option. This will build the x86 desktop version of the stage and then launch it within the simulator. The simulator lets developers simulate any device by changing settings such as simulating accelerometer controls, keyboard inputs, touch, screen size, and much more. Switch back to the hub and click Open as Project. This will add it to the project list and then the Open Project button will open the project in the Project View. The Project View is where developers manage configurations, perform builds, and push applications to devices. Let's start with the simulator, so select Simulator x86 as the platform. Selecting Run will launch the simulator window that's shown previously, or select Open in IDE to open the project in the default IDE which was set to Visual Studio 2010 earlier in the Dependency Checker. Once the project has opened in Visual Studio, it will look very much like a regular Visual Studio project. On the left at the top is the Marmalade Abstraction Layer. This is all the system-level APIs, and at the bottom is the Application Code. In the Application Code, it is easy to add breakpoints and step-through code like any normal Visual Studio project, as well as build for different platforms and run within the simulator or push to devices. For example, to create a debug build for ARM, select GCC ARM debug from the configuration list, then press F7. This will build a single ARM binary, which can be used for all of the different platform deployments that use the ARM architecture. Now that's built, switch back to the hub and select the Android platform. The Hub will automatically detect the ARM debug build created in Visual Studio, or alternatively, this can be rebuilt by pressing the Build button. To create an Android package, select the Package Only option, which will take the ARM build of the application and combine it with the Android version of the Marmalade loader, as well as icon files and package settings, to create an APK package that is ready to be installed on an Android device. Select the folder icon to view the package within the file system.
Selecting Package Install and Run will create the package. Install it on a connected Android device and then launch the application on the device.